Hi everyone, it's Jack here from Healthy Cornwall and today I'm going to be sharing a recipe, simple and healthy recipe, but you might have not tried it before. It's savoury flapjacks and the main ingredient in this is going to be cheese, carrot and courgette. Okay, so don't be put off too soon, it's very nice, okay? First things first, all you need to do is preheat your oven to 200. You're going to um, want to weigh out your ingredients. We're going to go for um, 150 grams of oats, uh, 175 grams of carrot, 175 grams of cheese and uh, 100 grams of courgette and then one egg well beaten okay that's all you need um, when when uh, grating your vegetables okay we're going to grate them all and um, try if possible to use the fine side of your box grater um, this is going to uh, um, help all the all the ingredients mix in well together and also any children who don't like seeing little bits of vegetables in their food it's probably more likely that they're going to going to uh, going to eat them so uh, use a fine grater I'll come back once I'm done Okay everyone, this is what it should look like once it's all grated and weighed out. Um, you're gonna, we're going to add a little bit of seasoning and add the uh, beaten egg and then just give that a stir. Uh, there's some mixed herbs, smoked paprika, I'm not going to use them today but they're just some options of the types of things you can use. You can also use some uh, mustard powder or anything you like. Experiment a bit with it to add some flavour. But um, for now we're just going to use this so I'm going to give this a stir and I'll come back when I've put it in the baking tray. Okay everyone, I'll bring you back here. I've pressed it into the baking tray. Okay. My baking tray is probably a little bit too big, um, but just all you want to do is try and press it down onto a tray um, and, and try and get it quite thin, okay? The thinner the better, it'll cook better that way. Um, and I'm just going to stick it in like it is, but over here we've got a couple options here of um, a couple of, uh, toppings you could probably have, Worcester sauce or even some low sodium Marmite. Um, it's it's up to you. I mean, I, I like it just plain, but if you like to experiment, then, then add whatever you want. All right, we're going to stick it in the oven now. Um, I would recommend putting it in for roughly uh, 35 to 40 minutes, but rather than time, you want it to look for that nice brown color on top. Okay, so I've got them out of the oven and I've cut them up. Let's take a look. So as you can see, they look pretty similar to normal flapjacks, obviously taste very different, but you're looking for that golden brown on top, alright? So to make these flapjacks healthier, I'd recommend using a, um, a low-fat cheese when possible. Um, what's good about the flapjacks, a good source of calcium and fibre, um, also a good source of protein, and for the children, hiding those vegetables, or genuinely when you taste it, you wouldn't know there's any vegetables in there, so a good source of vitamins from those vegetables as well. Um, Absolutely great for lunch boxes and great to make with the kids. You can freeze them, um, but you could also store them in an airtight container. Let's be honest, they're going to be gone pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, try it at home. Let us know how you get on. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you.